Odiogo.com, the web read for you. Abomicide of American Nation Warned to Accelerate A shocking in-depth report written by Acting Minister Tatyana Golikova of the Ministry of Healthcare and Social Development MHSD sent to President Putin this past week on the economic and social-political ramifications of the two-year-old United States law titled Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act otherwise known as Obamacare warns that the scheme is, in fact, a codified system of mass genocide never before seen in all of human history. According to this report, prior to this law passing in early 2010, the Obama regime made a secret deal with all of the United States drug companies with their head lobbyist confirming this to be true in a recently discovered email from Billy Towson, the head of Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America PHRMA, to former White House Deputy Chief of Staff Jim Messina who is now Obama's 2012 campaign manager clearly stating before this law's passage, we will deliver a final yes to you by morning. The secret agreement made between the Obama regime and these American drug companies, this report says, was that in exchange for the U.S. not prosecuting them for the deaths due to their faulty if not outright fraudulent drugs foisted upon the American people, they would, in turn, all agree not to campaign against Obamacare nor spend any money advertising against it. To the number of deaths directly related to these American drug companies fearing U.S. government retribution, this report continues. The facts are beyond shocking and detail how faulty and fraudulent pharmaceuticals have killed at least 2 million Americans over the past decade alone. Acting Minister Golikova even more grimly notes in her report that the figure of 2 million Americans being killed by U.S. government drug company collusion may, in fact, be even higher as the estimated death figures she used were those detailed by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA on their own official webpage that lists these deplorable statistics. Adverse Drug Reactions ADR Over 2 Million Serious ADRs Yearly 100,000 Deaths Yearly ADRs Fourth Leading Cause of Death Ahead of Pulmonary Disease, Diabetes, AIDS, Pneumonia, Accidents and Automobile Deaths Ambulatory Patients ADR Rate Unknown Nursing Home Patients ADR Rate, 350,000 Yearly Not Included in These Statistics, However, This Report Says are the estimated 500,000 deaths blamed on the heavily promoted anti-pain drug Vioxx that was released by Merck and Company one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world in 1999 and pulled from the market in 2004. Adding to this horrific death toll, this report continues, are the estimated 480,000 drug-related accidental deaths over the past decade that in 2009 became the leading cause of accidental deaths in the United States. Rounding out what can only be described as legalized genocide in the United States, Acting Minister Golikova reports, are Americans who overdosed accidentally or deliberately on drugs and whose numbers over the past decade alone now equal another 400,000 deaths. Most important to note in this report are the comparisons made by Acting Minister Golikova between this ongoing American legal drug genocide and the nearly 1 million deaths caused by the April 26, 1986 catastrophic failure of the then Soviet Union's Chernobyl nuclear plant, where after this disaster the Russian people refused to believe government and media lies and, in turn, overthrow the communist regime that had ruled over them for over 70 years. Mikhail Gorbachev the last head of state of the Soviet Union in the past has acknowledged this fact by stating, the nuclear meltdown at Chernobyl 20 years ago this month, even more than my launch of perestroika, was perhaps the real cause of the collapse of the Soviet Union five years later. Indeed, the Chernobyl catastrophe was an historic turning point, there was the era before the disaster, and there was the very different era that has followed. Acting Minister Golikova grimly concludes in her report that the abomicide of the American people shows no sign of abating and that all future signs point to an increase of nearly 10-15 million more of these people will be legally killed by the U.S. government during the next decade, all without one single word being mentioned of this holocaust by their so-called mainstream media propaganda press establishment. Ron Unz, the American political activist, and major patron of Wikimedia Foundation who in his seminal article on the aforementioned Viox catastrophe titled, When Half a Million Americans Died and Nobody Noticed wrote, My late friend Bill Odom, the three-star general who ran the National Security Agency for President Ronald Reagan, 
had spent his entire career as a Soviet specialist, and prior to his death we both concluded that the American mainstream media of the 2000s had become increasingly indistinguishable from the Soviet Pravda of the 1980s. The question remaining to be asked of the American at this point, and as this mass genocide and cover-up grows larger by the day, is simply this at what point do these people like the Soviet people showed could be done after Chernobyl quit believing the lies being told them and start listening to the truth?